Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we'll be creating this testimonial section and we'll also be learning how to build this using Swiper.js. So essentially this video is more like a tutorial on Swiper.js since many of you guys were asking me about bringing a video wherein I teach you how to build sliders using Swiper.js. So this video, we're going to be building this one using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, and we're going to be using a popular library known as Swiper.js, which can create mind-blowing sliders like this. So what happens is you can grab and you can slide the card. The next one appears here, and the one that you just slide is this one. So yeah, and then you can also slide it on the right side, and the previous one would appear. So you can play with this, you can change the slides by grabbing and swiping them from left and right. All right. And also you can change the slides with the help of your mouse wheel. So when you scroll down, it moves to the next slide. And when you scroll up, it moves to the previous slide. And see how beautifully we are having the transition yeah without any delay let's start and also the source code of this project is down in the description so make sure to check that out and also if you're new to the channel and if you haven't subscribed yet please make sure to subscribe and turn the notifications bell so that you're always notified whenever i upload a new video a new tutorial so with that being said let's get started and let's build this so here I am in my index.html file and I have the style.css file also open wherein I have imported two fonts which are Oswald and Twine. And in the images I have the background image, the image for the client and then the red background SVG and also the white background SVG that we're going to be using for the buttons. So let's quickly grab the, the boilerplate from Swiper.js. So to get started with Swiper.js, what you're going to do is you're going to type in Swiper.js and then the first link that pops up. So this is their official website. You're going to click on that and here you can scroll down and you can see all these stuff, but we do not need to see all these. You are just going to have to go to this docs and click on this getting started. And here, since we're going to be building it in plain HTML and CSS and also vanilla JavaScript. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy these two links. So the first one is for the CSS and then this script is for the swiper bundle, which has the minified JavaScript. So I'll just paste it here. And yeah, so now we have everything that we need. So first let's copy a boilerplate of one of the demos that they have. So you're going to go to the resources and click on, the, on this demos link. And this will show you different kinds of swipers. So um, let's go to this, this pagination one. And you're going to click on this core. Let's click here and And let's copy all the code that is here. So let's copy everything and let's paste it here. And let's see what is essentially happening. Now, when you paste, you would see that uh, the links get also applied here since the code that we're copying here also has the entire um, HTML markup, including the links for the CSS and also for the JavaScript. Now, once you paste it, let's save and let's see. So this is how a basic swiper slider would look. Okay, and you have these paginations. You can grab and you can swipe from left to right. All right, now we're gonna do it from scratch. So let's remove everything. So uh, if I just revert back, you'd see that essentially what they're doing is, first they have a swiper wrapper or basically a container 
inside of which they have a swiper wrapper class which wraps up all the different slides and then inside of that you have different slides all right and then if you want to add a pagination so the way you add it is you add the pagination right next to the swiper wrapper so what we're going to be doing is um first let's create the let's create a container class which would hold our swiper and then inside of this swiper we have the swiper wrapper which would wrap all the different slides so and then also we'd have the paginations so we'll add that and then inside of the swiper wrapper so essentially first we just want to build one single slide and then we want to paste all the different slides so first i'll just add the first slide which is the swiper slide and here inside of this we're going to add our heading which is h2 so we're going to add the text also and then we'd have a div with a class of text for all the different lines of text that the user can add which we're showing in the intro so we'll add that as well and then we have the client image so we're going to paste that and then we have the client info which we're going to be using inside of this client div so we have the paragraph tag which holds the client name and then the span for the designation of the client and then we have a btn group essentially a btn group is kind of a standard class which which consists of multiple buttons so here we're going to add our two buttons one is the red one with the class of red btn and then the white one with the class of white btn and inside of them i have added two text here so one says see demo and then the other one says learn more now with that essentially our um the markup for the slide should be finished so now what we're going to do is in the css we're going to write some code so in the css first let's remove the margin and padding and also the box sizing as border box and then in the body we're going to set the height and width to 100 viewport height now when i was uh, creating this project what i essentially did was i copied some of the code which uh, um so i've copied the some of the code from this so you would see that uh, some of the stuff are kind of same so what we have here in the css is kind of some of the stuff is what is being used here as well so like this background along with this font family so so you just got to have to ignore these since we're going to be overriding this in in like couple of seconds so first we add the font size and also the color and then we want so we have a container which should be at the center so we're using display flex with justify content and align items to center which essentially will place the container at the center let's see let's reload okay nothing is working since uh we need to give some width and height also to the container and since everything is kind of overflowing it is well difficult to see what is going on so overflow needs to be hidden all right and then the background the, the background that we're using for the for the body we just add that and also we don't want it to kind of repeat so we'd add that as well and also the background size needs to be cover and font family needs to be this wine sans serif let's save okay now in the container what we're going to do is we're going to set a fixed width and height so width needs to be 70% and height needs to be 80% all right now you can see that our container is at the center then we're going to target the swiper we're going to give it width and height of 100% uh, which is essentially the entire width and height of the container and then the slider each slide which is of the class swiper slide we're going to give it a background of kind of whitish with opacity of 0.1 let's save so that we can have the glass morphism effect so so there's that and then the backdrop filter which makes it um have that glass effect so we're going to need to add here the blur and here i'm going to setting this blur to 20 12 pixels okay let's save now now 
so we have this image because of this we are unable to see let's uh, comment this image for a second so now you can see clearly that uh, this section is kind of appearing like a glass now just right after that we're going to add a border of one pixel and then the box shadow with five pixels five pixels and ten pixels and then this as the color let's save now we're going to target um, the padding. So, so for the padding, we have top and bottom needs to be 20 pixels and left and right as 30 pixels. So let's save. And then the color needs to be black. Now we're going to target the H2 inside of the swiper slide and we're going to increase the font size and then we're going to set the font family as Oswald. And then the margin top needs to be 50 pixels. Let's save. Okay. And then the text that we have, we're going to set the margin top, font size, and also a width of 70 characters. Let's save. And then the line height needs to be 1.5. Now for the client, uh, we have this John Doe and then this, this designation inside of the span. So we need some kind of margin from top. So we're going to set first the font size to 28 pixels, font weight to 700 along with the font family here as Oswald and then the margin top of 30 pixels and then for the span we're going to set the font size and the font weight now this also needs to have the font family of Oswald so we'll add that as well now opacity for the for the designation we want to be a little less so we'll add the opacity as 0 0.6 now we're going to target the button. So each of this button needs to have a padding of 10 pixels top and bottom and left and right 20 pixels. Outline and border needs to be none. And the font family needs to be Oswald and then the font weight bold. And also when you hover, you want to have the cursor pointer. So we're going to add that. And now for the red BTN, we're going to set the URL as the red BG SVG. And also, we don't want it to repeat. And the background size needs to be cover. And the color needs to be white. And for the white, we'd add the background, background size, and also no repeat. And then the color for the white one needs to be black. All right. Now, since they are inside of the BTN group, we can add display flex and add a gap of 20 pixels. Let's save and also a margin top of 20 pixels. Now we're gonna target the swiper slide, or let's just do one thing. Let's, um, yeah, let's do this first. So we're gonna target the swiper slide and whichever swiper slide is not active. So let's paste all the different slides that we have. Okay, and also, Let's comment out all the images that we have here. Okay, I have commented out all the different images and uh, okay. So the reason for not being able to see all the different uh, swiper slide is because we haven't initialized our JavaScript yet. So let's do that first. So here in the JavaScript, so let's add the different slides and here in the JavaScript, so you want to target the script and then you want to create a swiper variable where you want to make it a type of swiper, which takes in two parameters. The first one is the class which you're targeting. So in this case, the swiper and then an object. Now this object has this pagination when you can set which element you want to set for the pagination. Here we have this as swiper pagination. So we can add that as the element. And then the effect that we want to have. So if you go to the, so here you can see we have this effect. Okay. So what I was talking about is this one. So whichever slide is not active. So essentially the one at the center is basically the one that is active. So if I target that and then all the thing that is inside directly inside of the swiper slide that is not active, what we want to do is want to set the opacity to 0 
you see that the ones that are not active, their font size and all the different text and stuff are now going to have the opacity of 0 0.3. Or else if you have all of, all of them same, it kind of, um, it's kind of difficult to read the one that is active, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna control Z, yeah. So if you go to the official side, you can see here different types of effect. So you have this, uh, let's go here. You have this fade effect, all right? And then you have this cube effect, something like this. And then you have this cover flow, which I have used in multiple of my projects here in, on YouTube. And then you have this flip, all right? And then this cards one. So essentially all you need to do is you need to add here this effect. The key needs to be effect and then the value needs to be cards. And you would have the effect. Now we're gonna add some other stuffs as well. Like we want the grab cursor to be true. Basically we want it to be able to grab. Now initial, initial slide should be number two. Now keep in mind that this starts with an index of zero. So zero, one, two. So basically the third one is the one that is active. And then the speed, which is basically the transition that happens when you go from one slide to the other. And that we want as hundred seconds. Um, I mean one second, which is 1000. And then the loop needs to be true. So essentially when you go to the fifth slide, which is the last one, and then you want to swipe left, so essentially it takes you to the first slide. And then you can have this rotate to true, and along with that you can have this mice, mouse wheel invert as false. Let's save. Now here you can scroll with your mouse, and when you scroll down, it goes, it kind of goes to the next page or the next slide and then when you scroll up it takes you to the previous slide okay now instead of this you can just add here mouse will and this one you can set as true even that works okay and this rotate you can remove along with this grab cursor because um, yeah, it is what it is. You can grab. So if you have it here, so you would be able to see this icon, right? This is a grabbing icon. If you want it, you can have it. If you don't want, you can just remove. Yeah, so it is what it is. Now here, we're going to target the bullet points that we have here. So the one that is active, we want to set the background color to the red color that we are having. So there we have it. Now, in the swiper slide, we're going to set the position as relative since we're going to be targeting our client image. So the client image would have position absolute with the height and width same, 180 pixels each, since we're going to be making it a circle. And then we're going to set the border radius to 50% and overflow would be hidden. Let's save. Now let's place this one somewhere here. So we'd add top, top 30 pixels and right 60 pixels, which places it here. And then we can target the image inside of this client image. And we can set the height to 100% with 200% and object fit to cover. And we have the image. All right. Yes. So there we have it guys. So hopefully you learned how to build or create a kind of like a testimonial section. And also you are now fully aware of how to build sliders with Swiper.js. So I hope this video was helpful and I hope you were able to learn. And so yeah, with that being said, uh, we're done for this video. Meet you guys in the next video. And till then, bye bye. If you haven't subscribed, please make sure to subscribe and turn the bell on. And make sure to comment down what you liked about this video. And so yeah.